Hello, we're back again today with Hannah from Hannah Moore Fitness. Hello. Hello. You all right? <laughs> yes. We are, first question we ask everyone, your idol. Um, right. So it doesn't have to be fitness, just your idol growing up. Okay, I did know that this one was coming. <laughs> and I have spent quite a long time thinking about an answer and haven't really got like one person. Um, but growing up I was always into like swimming and sports and stuff, so I guess like the like British stars like you had like Jessica Ennis who done really well. Yeah. Like <clears throat> I know like Usain Bolt from running, Michael Phelps, any like sporting stars like are really big. Yeah. Stuff. Um and then like I watched a lot of TV, so I spent a lot of time watching like Hannah Montana, so I guess I'm really sorry for Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was gonna be honest. Um that I don't know, anyone who was very like current in the sports like yeah. world like even like David Beckham, like John Terry, um, like those kind of like big England Names. players, yeah. But yeah, I can't really pinpoint one person. What about like now you've got into fitness, you're, you're the fitness idol? Oh my God. Um, I don't know if you'll know them, but it's KK Fit on Instagram. They're like twins and they're Gymshark athletes and they... They're the ones that inspire you. They look insane. Did they inspire you to want to create a <clears throat> fitness account? No, I didn't even know about them until I created a fitness yeah. account. Mm -hmm. The thing that inspired me to create my account was my actual journey. I was like, hang yeah. on, like I've actually done, I've gone from here to here, I'm actually doing well. Like, yeah. I kind of want to show off about this. So that's why I did it. It wasn't really, there wasn't one specific person. Like obviously I did follow fitness accounts and I really liked them, interacted with them. And I was like, I'll just give it a go. So like, talk to us about from the start, like the sports you've done when you were young and then just growing up and how you got into the fitness yeah, position um, you are now. So I always was into swimming, like from, I came out of the womb into a swimming pool. <laughs> like not literally, but you know. Um, so my dad was always a really good, well not always, as he got older, he became more interested in swimming. Yeah. He actually ended up being my head coach, which was, um, challenging, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I liked it, but he was obviously like he had a job to do, and I, I didn't always want to be that, and that was yeah. hard for a coach swimmer yeah. relationship and also a father daughter relationship. Yeah. Um, but yeah, always swimming, trained like five or six times a week, two hours each session. We did like land training, stuff like that. So it was all yeah. we did like training yeah. camps, so nutrition and everything like that was always drilled into me, like how important everything is, yeah. Um, like so that's why I suppose now into my fitness journey yeah. I have a good relationship with food I'm able to understand different things because mm -hmm. I've always You've had it like embedded into you yeah, from like, what, what level did you get to swimming wise um I was at regional level um I did well but I just mm, fell out of love with it a little bit I think when you when you're in a sport you get to the point like you get to kind of 16 17 your friends are going out yeah, going to you've parties. got to make a choice then I've, I've either got <clears> training <throat> on a Friday night or I've got a party on a Friday night and I'm packing my bags and going to the party I'm not going to <laughs> training so for me I didn't have any discipline it was just I didn't yeah. really I didn't really want to do it but I socially it was really good for me yeah um my brother was really good like he was nationals won medals scouted by England and but he just had that yeah. Drive and mm -hmm. I didn't at the time necessarily. I guess. What made you first start getting into the gym then? So it was after. So after I quit swimming, obviously I didn't do anything for like a couple of years. Yeah. And I was always like really skinny, um, like at school, um, just like growing up. But I ate so much, like just I'm just saying that was from doing so much swimming. Yeah. God. Yeah. When we we went to like this. Um, the uni of Suffolk and they did um for sports science people they put like all things on us and yeah. they made us do fitness tests and like I was probably 13 and the guy was like you need 3,000 calories a day just to survive a third, really? like at 13, at 13 just to old. survive like to not because you're doing so much yeah exercise. because you think you're swimming two hours in the morning two hours in the evening then mm. a whole day for me at school yeah um so for me to actually put on any weight, I'd have to be eating like yeah, you know three thousand five hundred calories wow. plus to put on anything. Yeah, at so time. yeah, I was not, I was eating a lot, but obviously nowhere near enough. And I always thought it was like metabolism problems, but I kind of never yeah. really got to the end <clears throat> of it. So yeah, that was like the main thing. I think I was like, I think your mental health and your physical health like come together, like they play a massive part. And like my mental health was bad, my physical health was bad. Yeah. But then like something clicked, my mental health literally went like boom. It was so so good. And I was like, actually mentally, I feel really strong, but physically, yeah. How I'm old not you reflecting when this that. Happened? 
uh, <clears throat> like just turned like 18, 19. Yeah. But it wasn't that long ago. But I just thought like I feel so strong like in my mental health, like in my confidence. Yeah. But I was like looked at myself and I was like I like body wise I do not feel strong. Yeah. Like I wanted someone to come and fight me and I could actually fight him back. Like. Yeah. But I would. Would you Would you say like you weren't happy with the way you looked? Um. Essentially. Yeah, but not like, um, not really bad to like some, yeah. obviously I wasn't happy to then get on and yeah. like make a journey sort of thing, mm -hmm. but um, I was just so skinny and no matter what I did, yeah. I ate, like I said, ate so much, I did everything I could. It was like the only way I'm actually going to put on weight is by, with muscle. Yeah. yeah. And I started and <clears> I gave up and gave up and gave up again like so many people do and yeah. it's time I've actually committed. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is like made you stick to it this time? Seeing results? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And also, like from stopping and starting so many times, I know that nothing happens from like four weeks. Yeah. Oh, you got, know. You've got to be consistent. Very minimum will happen in four weeks of training, like three months of training, six months of training, a year training. Yeah. Like then the results come. And then looking back at those pictures, like my after pictures are now my before pictures now. Oh, so okay. that just like drives me to achieve more and it's not like physique now it's more like weight goals so like i want to deadlift this i want to squat this yeah. i want to bench this so it's moved away from physique how many bit. times do you go to the gym a week um so four times a week and then i swim once a week what about in like lockdown how did that affect your training or is that when your training started properly? yeah so i started training properly <clears throat> like the january before lockdown so we went into lockdown in march, march. and i remember so literally two months probably. yeah literally i remember them saying the gyms were closing i worked mm -hmm. at a gym yeah. and um i went so, home and i was like crying i was like no it's not funny i was like because i've done this fitness journey for two months committed everything and i was yeah. like what have i got now so I had to pull myself together a little bit a bit embarrassing <laughs> but um, <laughs> we moved on we got over it um, and yeah, I just did stuff from home. So I followed a lot of home workouts. That's when I started my page because I was so like, actually, this is when your Instagram. Took yeah, off. yeah, because I done like March, April, May, June. I done like three months of consistent yeah, training, yeah. and I was like, cool, this is this is going well. And it actually it was my friends who said, no, nah, you need to do it. Yeah. So I was like, mm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. In terms of like your social media. Yeah. When was the point that you sort of realised that was it? Like this is what you want to do now. Um, do you know what? It probably wasn't until like quite recently. Because like, you've got a fair few followers on Instagram, and yeah, yeah, it's that's been going well. Um, I just when I started like the TikTok and like Instagram Reels, and I was like, actually, I enjoy this. Yeah. And, like, I enjoy communicating with people. I enjoy making content. I enjoy all of that sort of stuff. And I was like, if I could do this as a job, like, yeah, you go to work be, happy all the time. That would be good, but um. How do you find social media? Because sometimes it can be quite toxic. Yeah. Um, do you get much hate online or has it been quite supportive? <laughs> do you know what? Like, <laughs> I actually do. Like, mainly on really? TikTok, but it's... In I what, just what sort of, what so sort of things get said? It's all men. It's all, like, angry yeah. little men, like, <laughs> with little legs and stuff. Like, they're just so angry about life. And they're just at my post and, like, I posted something the other day saying, like, Oh, men don't want you training upper body, but they laugh at you for training legs. I was like, what am I supposed to train? Yeah. And someone was like, you should stay in the kitchen where you belong. <laughs> and like, I just thought that was hilarious. Yeah. I just thought it was so funny. So I'm luckily very thick skinned. Yeah. Like, Do you go back at them with anything? Or you just I just put that, made me die. I was like, that was really <laughs> funny. Um, but I know a lot of people aren't like that. At the yeah. start, like I remember there was like this post that I posted and what I said wasn't like, I don't know, completely correct yeah. and somebody took the post and it, like posted it everywhere and I was like no nah, I can't do this yeah. I was like if this is going to be like this like, I can't do yeah. that and I only had like 3k followers but that was a bit of an eye opener but since then like I just have to be confident in what I post if somebody yeah. doesn't like it I don't really care don't I've got a thousand people that like it and one person that doesn't yeah. and actually if they're going to watch my videos if they're going to comment on it works yeah. better for me yeah you still get another view so in terms of like the social media side of things, what sort of platform do you prefer? Oh, it's changed, definitely yeah. changed. So I was Instagram like obsessed, like love yeah. Instagram. And now I've kind of converted onto TikTok a little yeah, yeah, yeah. bit because I don't know what's going on with Instagram's algorithm at the moment, but it's not doing anyone yeah. any favors. It's really, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's just all over the place. So TikTok, I actually find a lot more rewarding. Like yeah. you get a lot more out of for what you put in, sort of thing. Um, I don't really communicate with like um, other creators and stuff on TikTok, but whereas Instagram is a bit more personable. Yeah. So yeah, TikTok's good and I like it. It's fun. Instagram is a lot more like friendly and social. Yeah. In terms of like your social media, obviously you've got quite a few people following you now. Have you ever had anyone message you in terms of someone famous or someone well known? Um, yes. <laughs> So, there's a bit of a story. I'll explain the full okay, story because yeah. I literally like thought this was nothing. So, yeah. I was sat at work and I just finished um, my shift. Got my phone out and I was like, oh, I've got this DM from this footballer. And mm. um, I was with a couple of other people in the office and they're like, oh, what's his name? I was like, Blaney? <laughs> I was like, who's this? And they went, literally, not Blaney. I was like, oh, I don't know. Showed him my phone and this kid, he was going mental. He phoned his dad. Really? He was like, Dad. Scale's got a DM from Fellaini, and I'm like, um, I don't even know who he is. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah, he just was like, "Hey, how are you?" Just, was that was that from when your Instagram page sort of got big and that? Was... I, I don't know really. It, I guess I was maybe at like 10k, 12k followers. Yes. So I wasn't at that much. But yeah, he just DM'd me. Um, I wasn't even like posting anything like provocative. Like maybe yeah. if I posted something and get a message, be like, fair enough. Yeah, um, just out of the blue. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Maybe he did my arm work out or something. <laughs> I just sort of liked it. So yeah, that was quite funny, and everyone was going mental about yeah, that. Like, yeah. I had like people messaging me like, "Oh, do you get a message from Fellaini?" Yeah. I was like, How do you know? <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't reply to him. Would you say like being in not the public eye, but being in terms of you've got a fair few followers on Instagram, you have to watch what you do if that makes sense if people in terms of diet and that sort of stuff do you um, feel like you're i feel like i do have a responsibility yeah like to my followers because i know i've got yeah. a lot of young followers yeah. and a lot of people like vulnerable people that if i said to them like actually i'm gonna eat 800 calories a day yeah. they'll go oh like she's done that i'm gonna do that so yeah i am very cautious of what you post what i post like yeah. yeah um so i always try and be real with yeah. people which yeah. i think is why people like my account like yeah. i'll post all my fast food like people yeah. actually probably don't follow me they're like this is not the fitness motivation that yeah. I want. but this is real life you know nobody can eat clean all the time you're yeah. going to have cravings you're going to want to do different things and yeah. it's like if i can just document as honestly as i can then people respect that a lot more yeah i always think if somebody met me in real life and they saw me on social media would they be the same people and yeah. i always try and keep them the same the same yeah, yeah. have you got any brand deals yes yeah. Um, so I'm still working with my protein, which is like that was my goal, like starting my page and <clears> working <throat> with them. Like that was really, really good. How did yeah. that come about? Did they message you or? Oh god, no! I messaged them. <laughs> <laughs> I was messaging them early. Like, it was really frustrating because they have like when you work with brands, sometimes you can see like the requirements to work with them. You need a certain amount of followers, or you need like certain things. And they were like, you need 5,000 followers. And I hit, I remember hitting 5,000 followers and like emailing them straight away. They then changed their thing from 5,000 to 10,000. Wow. I was like, I'm going to have to gain 5,000 followers like quickly. Oh, yeah. Luckily I did, it wasn't that long. Yeah. So um, I emailed them and I was like, look guys, I'm so desperate to work with you. Like I've been using your products like since I started my journey. I wear your clothing, like I'm all about the brand. Like I really want to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, and they got back to me and they're like, yeah, this is really good. And I was like, oh my God, like That's this it. is literally insane. So yeah, I've worked with, so my protein's still going on. I'm working with muscle foods, which are like meal prep and stuff like that, which yeah. is, their stuff is really good. But I've done um, like pretty little thing, loungewear, skinny tan, um, uh, boohoo. I've done quite a lot of things. I've probably, I can't think If you could pick more. one brand to work with, who would it be? Oh, Gymshark. There's like loads of obvious answers. Like everyone's gonna say Gymshark. Yeah. No, I think genuinely though, I think my protein was like the the, the goal. That's, that was the one. Yeah. There wasn't really. I. There's not really any like obviously Gymshark, but yeah. my protein was always there, and there's nothing. I'd love to work with like Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided a little bit more, but obviously they're not really into the sports side yeah, of things. So maybe yeah. just venturing into like other fitness companies and smaller companies as well and yeah so many, um, like short term long term obvious goal. time um i would like to well even the short term goal i'd like to run my own business i've just started like my online coaching business yeah, yeah. um and do really, you want to tell us a bit more about your 
online. Yeah, yeah. So it's it officially launched like a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't done a big announcement on social media yet as I'm yeah. just getting like finalizing a couple of things from my side. But um, basically, it will just be like online coaching with myself so you get meal plans workout plans they have the company that i work with to do all the app and everything they have a nutrition team so they like come up with all these meal plans so if you're vegan there's still like 500 meals or even more that you can have um we'll do like weekly checkups and stuff like yeah. that so i think it's, it's really good like i wish i had something like that for myself some, mm -hmm. someone to keep me accountable yeah. and someone to push me and someone who actually has had the experience and knows what they're doing yeah so yeah i'm really looking forward to actually like getting a few like, i've already got clients which is really good i was every time someone inquires i'm like oh they've chosen me like yeah. it's really nice but um yeah i'm just looking forward to like getting that going and i want to grow it like i'd love to do that yeah. full time yeah um obviously i know being self-employed is a big step to take but um it's what i want to do i want to help people and yeah see how things go hopefully it'll go well <laughs> in, t in terms of like the the plans are they like six week plans 12 week plans um so i always say to my clients like working together three months is like the optimum time for me yeah any three months and longer if i worked for someone for one month and gave them meal plans workout plans and i gave them my time yeah they would do well but the actual results that they would have after four weeks is is very mm. it's very small yeah Whereas three months, like you've had the four weeks to form a habit, you've then yeah. had the second month to actually get into it. The third month is like you've you've, you've finalised everything, you're feeling confident, and then we can even change the plan. Yeah. So um, I would say three months really is like the ideal time. Yeah, Anything time. longer, like even six, twelve months, like it just the longer you work with someone, the better relationship you have. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's all it's all specific on the person. So I've had people wanting to lose weight, I've had people wanting to like gain weight. So it's all different spectrums. Is it more diet plans you're doing or is it more fitness plans or do they come hand in hand? Yeah, they come hand in hand, yeah. So I will do all of the workout plans as I'm qualified to do that. I'm not a nutritionist, so that's why I've got a nutrition team behind me yeah. to obviously help mm -hmm. where I'm not qualified <clears throat> to. Um, so the team, they're really great. They'll put out all your plans and then there's, like I said, there's so many things you can choose from. But it's all healthy. I'm not going to put anyone on yeah. stupidly low calories because you don't need to be. Yeah. Like, is there something in the future that you want to do in terms of nutrition, like a nutrition course for yourself? Yeah, definitely. Like I'm always, I'm still doing my PT course. I've got my level two. That's all sorted. I've done like A level P. I've got really good understanding behind me. Yeah. Um, definitely would like to go even into like sports massage and yeah. into like really specific Very like stuff. yeah, yeah, that would be really good. Have an understanding a little bit more of injuries and rehabilitation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, stuff like that takes time, and I've got to do one one, one at thing time. at a time. Yeah. In terms of like yourself and in going to the gym, what advice would you give people who are nervous of going to the gym? So, yeah. like you said in another video, it can be an intimidating place. Yeah. Um, yeah. What would you say to those people who perhaps feel intimidated and are worried about starting the journey? Yeah, I would say like, choose your gym wisely. Mm. Like for me, I, w I went to a gym where I worked at, so it's a bit of a, got a bit of get out of jail free car sort of thing yeah. like i knew the people i knew the place like yeah. Yeah. so I was, I was very comfortable i went to like a pure gym you know what to expect kind of at a pure gym yeah. you know it's gonna be busy you know you're gonna have like big people yeah you kind of get a vibe whereas if you go to like a smaller kind of gym yeah. then you know it's gonna be a little bit nicer i would just say like i said choose the right gym for you yeah. if you want to do cro crossfit go to a crossfit gym you want to yeah. do big heavy weights go to like a heavy weight gym, gym. Place. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do that have a look around first like when you go so you know before you even sign up make sure you know where everything is so yeah. like even to the changing rooms like where's the changing rooms the toilets where's your weight area dumbbells mm -hmm. find out everything first and then see if you can do a trial try that and i really would recommend like even probably getting a couple of pt sessions to start off with yeah. do your gym induction even if like i will go to a new gym and ask for a gym induction That's i know exactly what i'm doing well, yeah. but <clears throat> like there's still machines there that i'm not familiar with and yeah. i need someone to show me i don't want to go in there and be like oh i'm not confident with this like yeah, yeah. if someone can show me i'll be like cool like this is this is fine ask for help like that is literally the only reason i've gone from where i am to like here yeah. sort of thing mm -hmm. um because i've asked for so, help. so don't be afraid to ask no nah, it's a job yeah like it, you know the gym staff are there to, to help, help you in the gym like they're yeah. qualified for a reason like use them don't let them sit on their phone all day like yeah Make them work. In, in terms of like yourself and your personal fitness plans and goals, what have you got 
Like, um, I've just finished my six week plan, yeah. that, and it's that event is so well. It was really, really good. I was really happy with that. So I'm gonna kind of adjust it a little bit, take some stuff out that didn't work so well, add some new stuff in, um, up the weights because I was like, weights were flying towards the end. I was really, really yeah. happy. Um, so yeah, just keep that going. I've got more, like I said at the start, more like weight specific goals in terms of lifting, like. Yeah. Deadlift 100 kilograms. I'm so close to it. When, I don't, when do you want to achieve that by? Today. today. <laughs> like now. No, honestly, do you know what? I might even try and do it Monday. Yeah. Um, I'm so, so close. And it's like this week of training has like genuinely probably been like the best week of training of my whole life. Like everything's yeah. just been going so, so well. Um, but yeah, I'll do, I'll do another six week plan. And like I said, up weights, um, up reps if I need to as well. And deadlift 100 kilograms in. Is, it, is that something you'll focus on in your plans for people, like weight goals as well? Yeah, definitely. Your... Yeah, I know there's a lot of people who are actually really experienced and they just want somebody yeah, who... Yeah, to push them that little yeah. bit further, yeah. Yeah, there's probably people that actually are a lot bigger and a lot stronger than me, but they just want someone to help them. Yeah. And definitely I'll 100% be there, even if I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like the product you offer your followers is uh, really, really good. Do you have any more questions? Oh, that's all from me. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, about your coaching anything <laughs> like that if you want to um just that obviously that it's live now it's up and running like yeah. my first consultation i have with everyone is free consultation yeah. and we'll literally just like make sure that we're on the same page yeah. and we're going to work well together and just get to know each other really and just make mm -hmm. sure that it's all going to go okay and like i said i'm always there every step of the journey yeah. they'll have an app they get mm -hmm. everything on the app yeah. and constant communication between us two because it's just going to help the yeah. journey all together but i would say just start just yeah. do it now where can they find that on your yeah it's on my instagram so um it's in my link tree bio so yeah. on my instagram if they click on that it's also on my tiktok your instagram is hannah hannah Moore .fitness. .fitness. <laughs> But even if you type in on Google, um, yeah. hannahmore.fitness, no, hannahmorefitness.com, yeah. and it will come up straight away with the landing page. Type in what you want to do, your goals, select it, and it will come straight to me. Okay, oh, lovely. They can follow Sorry. through that, and then yes. they'll be in your hands. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll put a link to your Instagram in yeah. the uh, description of the YouTube video. Uh, go check it out and get involved.